Start by duplicating our image by pressing Ctrl D or going to Image Duplicate. Change the default title of the layer to Original by double clicking and typing in Original. Save the file as the default GIMP.XCF file format. This will allow us to easily make changes in the future. Duplicate our default layer by clicking on the Duplicate icon in the Layers window. Desaturate the layer by going to Colors, Desaturate, select Average. Invert the layer by going to Colors, Invert. Blur using Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and setting a value to 15. Set our new layer to a mode of soft light with an opacity of around 75. Duplicate our soft light layer and set the opacity to around 50. Duplicate our original layer and move it to the top of the list. Change the mode to darken only and set the opacity for this image to around 16. Hide the original layer and merge all the remaining layers by right clicking and selecting Merge Visible. Let's remove some of the noise from this image by going to Filters, Enhance, Wavelet, Denoise. And let's adjust uh, all three settings to try to remove as much noise as possible while keeping the most amount of detail. Duplicate our new merged layer and go to Colors, Levels. Let's adjust the levels to try to bring out the best contrast for this image. Let's remove some of the grain by going back into Wavelet Denoise and trying to clean up the wall. To do so, we'll use a low value on the detail and keep the amount to where the wall is nice and smooth. Right click on our now soft layer and choose add layer mask. We will fill this layer mask in black and then go back over with a brush over the wall and plant and everything in that top left corner. This will remove the grain on the left hand side of the picture while not affecting the detail of our subject. Duplicate both our masked layer and the one underneath it and arrange them so that we have a masked layer and then a previous layer. Now what we want to do is merge down so that the effect is set in stone on one layer. To do that, right click on the top, la top masked layer and select Merge Down. Time for our final sharpen. Go to Colors, Desaturate and choose HSV hue saturation value. With the HSV image showing, select the value layer and go to Filters, Enhance, Unsharp Mask. We want to keep the value low between 0.5 and 1. For this image, I chose a 0.7. Once finished, Let's recompose by going to Colors, Components, Recompose. Now we can go back to our image and notice that it is now sharpened. Some of the softness of the subject have been removed and additional pixels have been added to increase the overall sharpened effect. And now we have our final image. The rest is simply exporting it as a JPEG file at the appropriate size for what you want to use it. I hope you found this video beneficial and hope that it will help you develop photographs in the future. 
Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.